study about black body radiation in detail. So what is meant by a black body? A black body is such a substance or such a condition in which it is a body that absorbs and emits radiations of of all wavelength or wavelength. I am representing wavelength by lambda for simplicity right now. And frequencies is known as black body. So imagine to a given example of a black body and considering the example of a cavity, cavity maintained at high temperature. Suppose you imagine about a cavity that is maintained at very high temperature. Don't think that black body, the term doesn't mean an object made up of black color. No. It is a condition, it is a physical body that actually, suppose it is a cavity maintained at very high temperature, you consider it as a black body, all the wavelength which it is uh, absorbed or if any wavelength if it is uh, projected onto this black body, it absorbs as well as reflects that same wavelength. If it be any wavelength, if it is able to absorb and emit that wavelength, then it is termed as a black body. So black body. And the radiation emitted by that black body is example of black body radiation. Did you understand what is meant by black body? Black body is an object that, or a physical substance that can absorb and emit all the radiations of any wavelength or frequency. Such a body is known as black body. Okay. Example of the black body is cavity maintained at high temperature. Now it was in an experiment which is conducted on a black body revealed that on heating and here I am representing intensity I. I indicates intensity of light. Light is an electromagnetic wave. So intensity. Intensity means what? Suppose you think about bulb which projects light. More intensity means more brightness. When you decrease intensity means less brightness. That's only meaning. So when intensity is increasing, when it is uh, a black body is kept in a specific place and it is projected to light falling for the particular intensity. Now intensity we can increase along the y axis and on the x axis we can increase the uh, wavelength of that light or the, not a wavelength of the light, in the, uh, wavelength of the black body radiation. When you increase the intensity of that light, the black body can reflect, it can emit the radiations of a particular wavelength. So that wavelength is represented by lambda or the black body radiation wavelength. How does this both relate? But what it was observed is that when the intensity of the light is zero, there was no emission of radiation. That is, when black body is kept in a, uh, uh, a suitable environment and you are not conducting the experiment, intensity is zero. So it will not absorb or emit any wave, uh, wavelength because it didn't absorb, then how it can emit wavelength? So that is when zero, lambda is also zero. Now on increasing the temperature, uh, increasing the temperature, in, what, what does that actually mean? Increasing the intensity over here, what we observed is that wavelength actually increases. It is not linear proportionality, it is non-linear but it is increasing. So that graph we can represent like this, it is increasing. Now after a particular wavelength, this is a maximum wavelength it can have. After a particular wavelength, it was observed is that lambda m indicate the maximum wavelength in this graph over here. After that, we can show that on again increasing the intensity, the temperature actually decreases. <clears throat> what does this curve actually mean? This curve represents temperature. So this is a temperature. So this is lambda at a particular wa wavelength, temperature is a maximum. And here is the temperature decreasing. Suppose if you are getting a graph in which temperature increases first, then it decreases. Can you say that when you increase the intensity, temperature will increase? No. Because in the first half of the graph, at a, uh, till a particular wavelength, you can say that when intensity increases, temperature increases. Okay. But in the next half, what is happening? When you increase the intensity again, but the temperature is decreasing. So there is no relation between intensity and temperature. This was explained in that experiment that intensity is not related to temperature. This is 
main concept of black body radiation now two other very famous laws regarding black body radiation also we have to discuss that is stephen's law and wien's law we will discuss it in the next video okay now we are going to study about stephen's law regarding black body radiation okay what is meant by black body radiation we already studied any object or any physical body which can absorb and emit wavelength of any frequency it is termed as black body <coughs> example is cavity maintained at constant temperature okay so here according to stephen's law what does this law state we'll see emittance emittance per unit or emittance is directly proportional to the temperature raised to the power of 4 this is known as stephen's law so what does stephen's law state emittance is directly proportional to the fourth power of temperature in standard unit what is the standard unit of temperature this kelvin okay so emittance what does this emittance mean emittance means energy per unit area per unit time energy per unit area per unit time is directly proportional to temperature to the power 4 this is famous law that is stephen's law so what is this energy per unit area mean suppose you are considering a black body over here black body in that black body energy or a particular wavelength we are giving electromagnetic radiation so over here be it light or any particular electromagnetic radiation of any intensity so over here intensity be i it is having a particular energy you know all the electromagnetic wave including light has a particular energy that so how much energy is falling per unit area this is a unit area and how much energy is falling this is energy of the light which is falling in a particular area and this black body will emit that particular wavelength okay so energy per unit area in unit time how much time in one second time we are uh, defining so energy per unit area per unit time is directly proportional to temperature to the power 4 so it is directly proportional to temperature so when temperature increases obviously energy will increase so that is the relation so energy per unit time what is that what is energy per unit time it is power so power per unit area is directly proportional to temperature raised to 4 so you can write power per unit area is equal to a constant into temperature raised to 4 that constant is known as stephen's constant stephen's constant is sigma t raised to 4 sigma is known as stephen's constant and this value sigma is having particular value that we will discuss stephen's constant is power per unit area is equal to sigma into t raised to 4 let's see the dimension of stephen's constant it can also be asked in your examination competitive exams also so sigma is it having any dimension or it does it uh, is it not having any particular dimension let's see that so take sigma to the other side power per unit area equal to sigma t raised to 4 so sigma equal to power divided by area into t, temperature to the power 4 so what is power power is watt so i'm just denoting the letter watt and area is meter square so it will become meter raised to minus 2 and it is kelvin here so kelvin raised to minus 4 on the numerator watt per meter square kelvin raised to minus 4 gives the value of sigma si unit so this is stephen's constant it has dimension and it is a physical constant so this is stephen's law talking about emittance that is proportional to temperature to the power 4 for black body radiation okay next important law connecting to black body radiation is wien's law now in the previous law which you studied was stephen's law <clears throat> according to stephen's law you said that emittance is directly proportional to temperature in kelvin raised to the power of 4 that was stephen's law now talking about wien's law what does it state wien's law states that the wavelength wavelength of black body radiation is inversely proportional <coughs> to 
टेम्परेचर इन केल्विन दिस इज अ फेमस लॉ बेन्स लॉ रिगार्डिंग ब्लड बॉडी रेडिएशन सो वेव लेंथ इज इनवर्सली प्रपोर्शनल टू टेम्परेचर इन केल्विन सो वॉट इज एक्साम्पल ऑफ दैट और हाउ वी कैन डी नॉट दिस लॉ वेव लेंथ इज इनवर्सली प्रपोर्शनल टू टेम्परेचर so wavelength lambda is equal to some constant to remove this proportionality we are introducing a constant term as b b into 1 by t where b is wien's constant so b is a, b is wien's constant so lambda is equal to b by t or you can say that lambda t equal to b which is a constant this is wien's law suppose a black body a star Star is example of a black body because it is a cavity maintained at very 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 high temperature. So that is example of black body radiation. So here, lambda t equal to b is a constant. So lambda one t one initially wavelength one and at the temperature one lambda one t one and that is also equal to a constant. And after some time, lambda two T two at a particular temperature, another temperature, this wavelength is lambda two of black body radiation. <laughs> that is also equal to B. So comparing both of these, what you can write? Lambda one T one equal to lambda two T two. This is general expression for solving numericals connected to Wien's law of black body radiation. So this is uh, mainly about it. And let's see the dimension of Wien's constant. Wien's constant expression. We know that lambda is equal directly proportional to one by temperature. So lambda t equal to lambda t is a constant that is equal to b. That's Wien's constant. So what is the dimension of b? Dimension of b is dimension of lambda into dimension of temperature in standard units. That is meter into Kelvin. So Kelvin meter. Kelvin meter is the SI unit of Wien's constant. Whereas in Uh, Stevens constant, the SI unit we had discussed before. This is the SI unit of Wien's constant. So this is all about Wien's law of black body radiation.